Okay, I knew I could not get through this day with just sitting around on my ass doing nothing. So uh, how do I get myself into these situations? So right here, what you have is this dinner plate hibiscus plant. This is, <clears throat> this is the most outrageous flower I have ever grown in my entire life. Uh, this thing has one, two, three, four, it has seven of these giant blooms on it today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Looks like over twenty more of these blooms are ready to bloom and the most outrageous flower not only at bugs in a jar but uh, the w one of the most outrageous flowers I have ever grown here is the issue right over the top of the most beautiful flower I have ever grown are about 10,000 of these fucking apples uh now now these apples are just these these they're just pieces of shit they're not even edible so last year we had in, in 23 we had that late freeze and we did not have one single apple at bugs in a jar not not one single apple this year i'm thinking we had 50,000 apples probably good lord three thousand five thousand apples on this one tree so understand guys this is not a healthy apple tree uh th th this this tree is under extreme stress this is not healthy behavior for an apple tree it's basically in its death rattle it is sending out one last desperate uh, plea to the universe to uh, continue its kind. So I'm going to take this motherfucker out. And it's time for this tree to come out anyway. But obviously, okay, if... <laughs> obviously, if I try to cut the tree down from you, you know just cut it down it, it is going to fall right directly on top of this hibiscus and, and uh, completely destroy it uh, along with some other stuff but 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 if i don't but but if if i don't wait to cut it down uh till the hibiscus finishes blooming then what's going to happen is at least at least 500 apples are going to fall directly onto the single most beautiful bush that I flower bush that I have at bugs in a jar so this is my engineering challenge how do I trim back this these apples you know which are 20 feet in the air to save the hibiscus bush without destroying the hibiscus bush in the process of trying to get the goddamn apples uh out of there before they fall so uh <laughs> and if there's any lumberjacks out there with any suggestions, I, I need to get a ladder up to this branch here. But my ladder is about four feet shy. If I, if I, could, if I had a ladder that would lean up against that branch, uh, I would be able to uh to, just to trim slowly away but since i don't have i have a 
I have a 16 foot ladder and I need a 20 foot ladder. So this is my uh, the Hambone Engineering Challenge of the day. Uh, I, I, I see all sorts of ways th this damn uh, thing could go wrong. Good Lord. It's just, you know, this shit just never ends, guys. It fucking never ends. Oh, man, look at this day out here. This is the weather forecast at Bugs in a Jar for nine out of the next ten days. Alright, I'm back to the drawing board. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know.